Hello, welcome back. It's Curtis Henry, the Lonza guy. Hey, I'm here to help you use your Nuclear Vector 4D most efficiently. All right, so the number one question that we've gotten with the Nuclear Vector is for those customers, researchers using the 16 well strip. The question is often, do I need to run all 16 samples at once? And the answer is no. Uh, we do not recommend that you reuse each well, but it definitely you don't need to use uh, just a few of the wells and then discard the the uh, strip. So it allows you to be able to uh, get the full use of your strip. So what do you need? Well, you need obviously your strip and a Sharpie and a 50 mil conical tube. All right, so in this case, if you'd seen one of my previous videos, I've actually ran three samples. Now the big thing to keep in mind is that even though it may not look like it, the strip is does have a direction. Um, there is a top and a bottom. It's kind of hard to tell in the video. You need to look very closely, but you can see the little uh, square that's in the middle, and you can see that that is completely open. That is the top. And on that one there, again, a little bit uh, hard, to, maybe a little bit hard to see on the video, but that one, the window there is half open. So again, the top is, the window is fully open, the bottom, the window is just partly open. Now, if you happen to keep the nice little rack that you have uh, that came with the kit, that actually helps you orientate the strip correctly, because again, it will fit perfectly on there. The uh, safety green, safety yellow will fit perfectly in there. If it is upside down, it doesn't fit on there quite as nice. You can see that it's kind of not on there, but that will tell you which way is up. All right, so what I recommend is that when you start to use it, you take it, you put it in there, and you put a little black dot in the upper left-hand corner. That's gonna tell, allow you to orient it the, uh, the, the strip every time. All right, so if you'd seen the previous, one of my previous videos, I actually ran three samples. I ran a one, B1 and C1, and that means the remaining um, 13 wells are still available. So actually, what I'm going to do while I'm in the hood and keeping it sterile is I will put an X on the three that I did. Or just make sure I keep, you can see it the camera. So those three are have been used. All right, so while I'm still in the hood, I'm going to open up my 50 mil conical tube and I'm going to drop the strip in there and seal it up while it is in the hood. There you have it. Now it will stay sterile until you need it again. So let's say we're going to be running another experiment, maybe a couple days later, maybe a week later, to bring it out. Again, again, now we know that is up, but also if you put it in the rack, it will fit in there perfectly. All right, so now I'm going to say I'm gonna run another experiment, I'm gonna run these three wells here and we'll come up to the nuclear factor and I will program those three wells run it and then um, you know follow the protocol plate it but then I will mark that those three are used you can mark it however you use it again now goes back into the tube ready for your next experiment so Again, this is the most efficient way to uh, keep your strips viable so you can get the most out of it. So again, this is Curtis Henry, the Lonza guy, and uh, please let us know if there's anything we can do to help you. Thank you.